Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and it's uh, December the 4th, and we only have three more weeks until we celebrate the Nativity. And uh, today, oh, I didn't update that. Ooh, bad on me. Our saint of the day is, let me see, oh, there we go. The great martyr Barbara and the martyr Juliana at Heliopolis in Syria. And their toparian for today, let us honor Saint Barbara, for she broke the snares of the enemy, and like a bird escaped from them by the help and weapon of the most honorable cross. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And let me see here. Push the right buttons and Robin appears. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. And Robin is sitting in a high school parking lot getting ready to read our scriptures this morning, and let's see what they are. There We've got, they are. got Galatians 3, 23 through 29 first. Okay. But before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for the faith which would afterward be revealed. Therefore the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put Christ on. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Oh, I, it continues, and it's my, my error. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is master of all. But he is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the father. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were born under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And we have Luke 13, 10 through 17, as the gospel. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. But when Jesus saw her, he called herself to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he said to the crowd, There are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore come and be healed on them, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Hypocrite! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath loot his ox or donkey from the stall and lead it away to water it? So ought this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, who Satan has bound, think of it for 18 years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the multitude rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. And then he of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, let's see who's with us this morning. And I see Jonathan Nichols is here. Good morning. Thanks for filling in last night, Jonathan. And Earl and Vicki are down in Tupelo, Mississippi, visiting Martha and Jimmy. Good morning to you. And uh, we pray praying for safe travels 
well, you've arrived in Tupelo, but come home safely and have a great visit while you're down there. Violetta, good morning to you. And Catherine Houston, good morning. And let me see here. Let me see here. Elioni, good morning. And she's here to remind us that Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Good morning, Steve and everyone. Happy Lord's Day to all of you. And over here, Barb Anderson. Good morning, Barb. Good to see you. And over here, let me see. Karen Karlanovich, good morning, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. Praying for Sunday is blessed and worshipful and peaceful. Amen. Good morning, Katerina Kater Salas. I'm headed to church with my family in a little bit. Prayers for me and my family, please. Thank you, and uh, bless Sunday to all of you, and bless us all. Lord, we pray for the at Salas family. We pray for Katerina and her family. Bring them good health, Lord. We pray for that and healings. Amen. Joanne Manaski out there in Phoenix. Good morning, everyone. Nelvia Agnew, good morning to you, Nelvia. Praying for a healing for you as Christ healed that, that woman today in our uh, gospel. Good morning. And Maria Fenton down there in Ocala, Florida. Good morning to you. And let's see if anybody's joined us over here. Amber is here. Good morning, Amber. And she wishes us all a beautiful Sunday. Yes, yes. And Joyce Marie's not here. Okay. Well, let's pray. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere, present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things, and giver of life, come and dwell in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering. thou was not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of my understanding, and open my mouth, to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hem thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all-holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. 
Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God, most high and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love toward mankind thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, Enlighten the eyes of our understanding and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all. The Eternal Father, with thine only begotten Son and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless in the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. In every hour of the day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly, in the firm belief that they, thy holy will go governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen events occur, let me not forget that all are sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably toward everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now a blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And Karen, Karen Kalanovich says, please pray for my son-in-law, Mario. It's his birthday today. Well, Lord, we pray for uh, Karen's son-in-law, Mario. It's his birthday today, Lord, and we wish him many, many, many more. We pray for that. Amen. And let me see. There's Joseph Khalil. Good morning, Joseph. And he has a, a verse from Psalm 16. Show me the path of life. Fill me with joy in your presence. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you so much. And Joseph, we're praying for your mother, Odette. We're praying for her, Lord. Heal her and bring her home. We pray for that. And let me see here. Joe Barbera. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. And uh, Kurt Lytle, good morning, dear prayer family. Good morning to you. And Kurt's here, so always reminds me to remind you 
to share and like and, and, and subscribe. Yeah, it makes a difference. It really does. Bring the word of God to everyone around us. So, there we go. Well, on Sunday mornings, you know, we always keep it kind of short because we're on our way to church. Now, Kurt made bread for uh, church this morning, so he made the bread this morning, six loaves. So, God bless you, my son. Thank God bless you. Well, we'll see you all this evening. Um, I have a, a nice little film on the Theotokos, and also uh, I, we had mentioned last week, and I think it's a good idea, to uh, look at the Didache, that first century uh, that first century catechism, and uh, be instructive and edifying, I think. So we'll do that again this evening. So it's the Didache and a short film on the uh, Theotokos this evening for our Sunday night edition. And then, of course, Robin and I will be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So until then, you know, there are two things that you must remember. Just two. Just two. What are they, Robin? That God loves us. He truly, truly does. And we love you. We really, really, really do. Amen. Thank you so much. And we'll see you all tonight. God bless. Mm -hmm. Have a great Sunday. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, yeah.